everything has to be faster. Each year a machine has to be even faster than before because you produce more and more. From what I know, this is actually the fastest packaging machine for this purpose there is. Within packaging, I think some of the trends we are seeing now is that products uh, doesn't live that long anymore. Design changes constantly. And that means that machine has to be more flexible and of course produce faster than they did in the past. The challenge we are facing with the packaging machines is that the market has a demand for a faster machine with a reduced footprint. And the machine has to be more flexible so we can pack a wider range of uh, products. And of course the cost is very important. So we have to design machines then with higher performance, more flexible, with less parts so they are cheaper to produce. Every square meter of a factory is expensive. We either have to make the machine smaller or faster on the same area as we did before. This machine is uh, twice as fast as the old one and have the same footprint as the old one. So it actually does the job as two old machines. Technically wise, uh, the biggest uh, change is going from pneumatic and partly motors in the machine to entirely electric drive. This is the major change within all industries. Uh, we are going from pneumatic to electric and we thought that we should be in the forefront with that on the snacks packaging machine. There is no pneumatic left in this machine and we think this is the future because it gives us more flexibility and a better impression for the environment of course. Um, making compressed air is expensive and uh, not good for the environment. Cabling a machine is quite expensive. So we chose to go with the distributed servo technology from Siemens, which was quite new to us, but that led to less cables. I think the client will appreciate that because it will be also less service for them in the future. The assembly time in this case, where we went to distribute the servo was cut in half, which is quite good for us. I'm not sure the customers always think that things are innovative. I think they look at productivity price and also the flexibility, but that means that they, without even knowing it, they look at innovation because that is innovation to get faster, higher, that is part of innovating. If the machines are going to be faster and more flexible, they need to be even easier to operate than earlier. We have to make the, the human machine interface easier for the operator to understand, so there shouldn't be any possibilities for him to do anything wrong. So. My wish for a future machine is one button. It's green and it has a play symbol on it. So meaning that if you push this, everything happens automatically. And we'll get there. Just give us time. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.